Welcome back. Well, very exciting news here. The Orange County Fair is back after all this time. And with us, we have Michelle Richards and Terry Moore, who are going to tell us all about some favorites that have come back and some brand new stuff. And also, of course, some new uh, you know, restrictions and limitations. So ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. We're very so excited, excited to too. <laughs> I know, and look at you guys with your backgrounds. I just love it. And, um, you know, roller coaster is always a favorite, the fun zone and, you know, all the food. I mean, you guys have so much stuff and the animals are great too. So when I was reading over the notes that we were going to go over, I'm excited to see that many of my favorites are coming back, which is great. But I know that there's also some new things too, which is, which is also awesome. So before we get right into what is going to be at the fair, let us meet you, Michelle, because we haven't met you before. So tell me a little bit about what you do and sort of where you came from. So I am the CEO, general manager of the OC Fair and Events Center. I've actually been um, affiliated with the fair um, for, well, this will be my 20th fair. We, we tend to measure time in numbers of fairs. So this will be my 20th fair, but it will actually be my first fair as CEO. So I was appointed by our board of directors in December of 2019. And then we all know what happened a few months later with the pandemic. So we've been here working very, very hard to bring back the fair and we're so excited. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you know, there were so many challenges, unfortunately, through the last year. However, there have been a lot of really good things that have come out of it. I mean, I think from technology perspective, we're all able to have our Zooms and, and some other, other aspects as well. Would you, would you agree with that? Yes, I, um, you know, I'm sure Terry can, uh, can comment too on, on her area in communications, but absolutely agree. I mean, it's sad to think about the loss that we have all experienced this past year and our hearts go out to those families that were affected, but we learned how to do things in new ways and to be more efficient. Um, uh, certainly the traffic on the freeway has been almost non-existent, right? Uh, that, that was actually really nice mm -hmm. for all of us who had to travel mm -hmm. to an office. I, I get it. I get it. Uh, you know, let's, let's talk about, you know, what is actually going to be happening. I mean, the fair will be open, similar to like what it was. And of course, we will talk about some of the changes. So, uh, Michelle, you want to give me kind of the dates and times and how that's working? Sure, so we open on Friday, July 16th, so the countdown has begun. Um, and our last day is Sunday, August 15th. We're actually opening um, a little earlier than we have in the past. So we'll open at 10 a.m. each day. We'll go to 11 p.m. on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, will close at midnight. And that's to make sure that we give plenty of space for people to, um, you know, to spread out, uh, lots of elbow room, and uh, we want to create a great guest experience for everyone coming to the fair this year. Now, you are closed on Monday and Tuesday. Is that different? No, that's been, that's been in place for several years. So we are dark on Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay. Okay, great. Now, uh, in terms of uh, limitations. Uh, there are restrictions and you do have to have uh, like a reservation, correct? Yes. So we're encouraging everyone who wants to come to the OC Fair this year, pick your day, go online and purchase your ticket online. That way you are locked in and you can be assured that there is a space for you that day. We are limiting our capacity um, each day, even though we all know on June 15th, the governor reopened the California economy and, and all of those restrictions were lifted, but we want to do the responsible thing and create a great uh, responsible fair for our, our guests. And so we are limiting the attendance to about 75% of what our, our normal daily attendance is. So now I understand that you, you know you you usually have so many people coming through each day, and now with these restrictions, do you anticipate it selling out? 
some days could sell out. We're expecting some weekend days to be very close to sell out. So that's why it's so important for everybody to get their tickets now, especially for special days like anniversaries and birthdays or family gatherings when you want to all come together. Mm -hmm. Also, you can download the OC Fair app. And if you search in the app store for OC Fair 2021, you can purchase tickets there too, get daily schedules, interactive maps, and all that good stuff. Oh, that's good. Now that's new, right? That is new this year. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Because, you know, I'm also imagining that because of the entertainment value, I mean, that's going to be some of the first concerts that people have been able to go to in so long. So I did look over your concert schedule. So you've got the hangar people, folks performing at the hangar and folks performing at the Pacific Amphitheater. Now, some of those are like, yay, everyone's so excited. So I imagine, do those days generally sell out or sell more tickets than others? So uh, in the Pacific Amphitheater, uh, we currently have four shows that are sold out and another couple that are racing towards sellout. And so to just reiterate what Terry said, you've got to go online and reserve your, your spot. We don't want anyone to miss out on the OC Fair this year. Okay. Uh, when you go to a concert at the Pacific Amphitheater, it includes your fair admission. For that day so you can come early and enjoy the fair or stay later after the concert to enjoy the fair and then uh, we have all of our very popular tribute bands in the hangar building um, mm -hmm. again this year um, and those can be purchased in advance online as well okay, okay great yeah go ahead Terry Hangar tickets also include free mm -hmm. same day fair admission for those shows that take place during the run of the fair. This year's Pacific Amphitheater Toyota Summer Concert Series is extending beyond the fair. I think the last show is September 5th, so that's a little bit longer series. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Good, good. Well, beyond entertainment, of course, you have your fun zone and you have all your food as well as some animals. So why don't we talk about just a couple things that are coming back that everybody loves? Oh my goodness, the fair favorites are coming back for sure. Anything deep fried on a stick, coated in whipped cream, wrapped in bacon, that's going to be back. And also our concessionaires always bring it. They bring so much fun. Uh, we're going to have hot Cheetos on top of everything, cheese on top of everything this year. You can put it on top of burgers. You can put it on top of pickles. And once again, everything on top of the funnel cakes. This year we've got fried chicken funnel cake. We've got bananas and cream funnel cake. We can just put anything on there. It's pretty cool. And also new this year is buffalo chicken in a cone with mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. In a cone? How am I going to eat that? In a cone. <laughs> it's, it's walking around the fair food. <laughs> no, it's a, me a meal for two. Yeah, <laughs> oh my go. gosh. Fun no to share. share. I, yeah. I better not wear good clothes that day because it's going to be all over the front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my heavens. And what is some of the new stuff other than that, the waffle one? That's crazy. What else do you have? Well, the fried chicken funnel cake is new and so is the bananas and cream. So a lot of those are new. We also have some new sundaes, some new ice cream concoctions that are coming in and a little bit of the kind of Latin street food. We have uh, taca de lingua and taca de tripa, which are coming this year. So that's something new and different. We also have a watermelon taco. If you can imagine that with Dole Whip inside and some tahini on that. We've got chamoy rimmed lemonade. We've, we've got it all. Come on you down. Guys, you, you never <laughs> disappoint in the food department. Now, wait, I will have to ask though, because some people may be searching for something, right? Like maybe there was a popular thing. Is there anything that is not coming back that we should not search for? Everything can be found in the interactive map on the app or on our website. And so if you have a favorite, we urge you to check it out first, find out where it is, or ask anybody in one of our information booths will help you find what you like. Okay, it, good. It might be in a, a located in a different place this year, but all exactly. the favorites are coming back. Oh, fantastic. Now talk about some of these new rides. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, um, there's a new fun house called New York, New York. It's a two-story fun house. Um, the Liberty Wheel, a, a new Ferris wheel is coming and a ride that I can't wait to, to see what this is all about. It's called Windsurf. It's a row of guests who will be seated and then um, it's on two levers that sort of, you know, take the, the guests for a wild surf ride while being misted with water. 
So can you imagine how fun that'll be on an 80 degree Costa Mesa day? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I'm sure that will be a very long line to get onto that one for yeah. sure. <laughs> oh my God, and what, wait, what is Winky the Whale? Winky the Whale is a new kid ride. So okay. we have a special section of the carnival um, that is separate from the main carnival that is dedicated just to family-friendly kid rides. So if you have little ones, it's a perfect place to take them. So oh, and that, the Winky the Whale will be We'll also find the new Liberty Wheel in the Kid Carnival this year. Mm -hmm. So two new rides for the little ones. Kids and grandkids, they'll have a great time. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So tell me about some of the uh, shows that we've all really loved. I saw on the top of my list is the All Alaskan Racing Pigs. So darn cute. They are coming back. I think people would mutiny if we didn't bring back uh, the pig races, but we're giving them a new location. So they used to be kind of tucked away a little bit in our livestock area, and they're going to be front and center right in the middle of all of the action. And again, to give um, plenty of room for people to spread out and enjoy those, those little pigs. Just adorable. They're so cute. And you know, there are so many other things on your list, but we just can't get to everything to, because we only have so much time. But before we do run out, one thing I did want to really reiterate and just kind of go over is what you guys have done to be COVID safe. Uh, obviously, you're cutting back on your attendance, so that's one thing. But what are just a couple of other things so we can let people know? Well, we have certainly, um, you know, uh, we, we get um, uh, praised every year for being such a, a clean and healthy fair. We've stepped it up even more. So a lot more hand washing stations, hand sanitizing stations, um, deep cleaning uh, protocols. In fact, the OC Fair and Event Center was just awarded the GBAC Star Facility Award. And this was something we applied for several months ago. Um, it's awarded by the Global Bio-Risk Accreditation Council. Um, and so we are deemed a safe and healthy facility because of the cleaning protocols that we have in place and the training that we do with our staff. So all of that will be incorporated into the fair. Um, guests do not have to wear, fully vaccinated guests do not have to wear a mask. Our unvaccinated um, guests will be asked to wear a mask when they're inside any of our buildings. Okay, that's, that's great. I mean, that's pretty much the same with, with pretty much anywhere that you go right now. That's right. So, oh, that's also, great. We've also incorporated some new technology at the gate. So when people enter, it's touchless. Um, they just walk right through, keep everything in your pockets. It's really sophisticated technology. And we're incorporating as much touchless payment options or as many touchless payment options as we can, all the way from parking when you first get there to concessionaires and shopping merchants. That's perfect, that's perfect. Well, ladies, thank you so much. I'm sorry we didn't have a lot more time, but nonetheless, we got in all the good stuff. We're excited to be bringing back the fun. Please come see us at the fair. We'll be waiting for you. All right, thank you very much. And we'll be right back after this.